Hello guys, this is Cortrell Wingfield, um, owner of, <laughs> not owner, oh my goodness, what do I think this is? But um, this is Cortrell Wingfield, I am a licensed realtor in the state of Kentucky. Um, I've been licensed since August 2021, so I'm a new realtor. Well, kinda new, kinda, you know, August, September, October. Six months, six months, six months. So I'm a six month, new realtor um, with homepage realty and today um, is going to be like a day in the life kind of starting late in the day because it is um, it's 143 but I have three showings set up with one client I've been working with um, we've been looking at homes for her we got her down payment assistance that's a program that they have here in Louisville Kentucky so I was able to get her like over $30,000 in down payment assistance, which is really, really, really good. Like they have programs where people who are on section eight, you can come off of section eight and purchase a home. They'll give you down payment for it. Like the city of Louisville is really trying to push home ownership on people. And I love helping people smile and get that home and just having them just pay less in bills and just having them just have something that can, you know, continue to grow in e equity and continue to grow in value value it's an appreciating asset and i wish for everyone to succeed i'm gonna go see three homes i'm gonna i'm not gonna video record my client because i don't you know do that unless they you know want to be on camera but i don't video record my client but i am going to video record the homes that i'm going to go see and this is going to just be like my day in the life so please stay tuned this is my first you know real video Cause I just got this new camera and I'm going to be doing like house tours and blase blase every day. So just come along with me, right? Yeah. So peace. So this app is an app that we have here in Louisville, Kentucky. Um, it's called flex MLS pro. And when you're a realtor, these are the key apps that you should have showing time is what you schedule your showings on. So this is what majority of realtors have in the whole United States. They have this app where you can just schedule a showing and then, you know, um, the seller would get like a notification and then they can approve the showing. And then here with flex MLS is what I click. And then every day I check it. You'll see new properties. Rivers in the background is crying. <laughs> I will let you out soon. But you just click new properties, price change, back on the market, closed, pending, expired. So I usually go on new, especially if I'm looking with the client and I, you know, go to their price range and see what's new on the market. And then I um I um usually shoot it over to them because this is a seller's market and everything goes pretty quick. So this is an app I use that every realtor in Louisville use um, to see what's on the market, what's came back on the market, and what's not on the market anymore, which is pending. For I know all things are working for my good. Yes, I know all things are working Okay, so my showing is at 2.30 and I'm trying to leave a little early so I can get to, it's my car, I'm trying to leave a little bit early so I can get to my um, McDonald's. <laughs> uh, not I said my. But yeah, I'm gonna leave a little bit early so I can get to McDonald's and get me a little milkshake or something. Cause your boy been hungry. Well, not hungry. Wanting a milkshake. <laughs> I'm crazy, y'all. See how I get my words all tangled up. But I've been wanting a milkshake. So it's 1:56. The house is. 22 minutes away. Let's see where the house is. Let me turn that music off. Copyright! So I get there at 219. Okay, so I should have no time to get you know, a milkshake or whatever. I don't recommend last minute things, you guys, if you're a realtor. But 
there just may be some last minute things especially when you're busy like i have a lot of clients sometimes where um, my schedule is so packed where i have to show like five ten homes a day so yeah i drive a hyundai as a realtor no realtors don't have specific cars but my car is a nice car it's a 2021 so yeah but i'm getting a new car soon so bear with me but i'll pick this camera up when i'm in the mcdonald's line ordering what i'm ordering last minute this is my song y'all don't be ashamed to be a witness for the lord Welcome to Don't Can I get a medium Oreo? No. You said a medium what? Chocolate shake. I got you. That's it. I get my card. <laughs> Where I put it. Oh yeah. The drive through lady said, you look really nice. She said your chocolate shake is on the way. <laughs> That was really sweet for her to say that. <laughs> I try to dress like this, you know, um, because it just makes me feel better. My granddad used to dress like this before he passed. He used to like like cookouts, he'll dress up in a suit. <laughs> like get togethers, he'll dress up in a suit. But that's good because you know, he held a standard. Um, I know a lot of people get intimidated by people who wear suits because like, just dress like the common people. But my granddaddy, boy, 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 boy. He was going to wear what he wanted to wear. And I agree because I like wearing my suits too. Oh my goodness. Okay, finally. Okay, I should be arriving at 2.28. Okay, cool. I got enough time. Two minutes before the show. So I may have to do like a walkthrough after because I guess I gotta take my camera in with me to do my own little walkthrough because, you know, I'm late. I usually like to get there early so I can turn on all the lights. And, but this home we're gonna go see, it's actually under contract. They did just take a contract, but the realtor wanted me to still show it because the home next door, she's about to list. And it's the same floor plan and same number of bathrooms. And my client wants two baths, so, yeah, so. I'm gonna go ahead and show her that. I wanna let her know it's on the contract. We're gonna go see three homes. Two of them are active, but one's on the contract, which is the one she really likes, but I'm gonna let her know. You know, the one next door is for sale. Uh, same floor plan and everything, so yeah. Here's the property. I just showed it when my client client just left, but I did not forget, like, I didn't show you guys the property, but here's the property. Um, they are getting next door done too. This one, like I said, is on the contract, but my client really likes it. So we're trying to get dibs on next door, but I forgot to take you guys through it. So um, they usually have lock boxes. So let's get in here. I like this home too. Would I buy it? No, it's too small for me, but it's literally just her. So here it is. So here's the front room when you come in. You come in, there's a living room. I'm thinking these homes were here. Well, it was built in 2001 and then they just came in here and remodeled it. You have a hallway, you have bedroom number one. It's nice. It's actually a big size bedroom. You have bedroom number two, which is a little small. But for one person, you have a lot of room. This room is big, which would probably be my master bedroom. I really like it. I really like a clean cut room, two closets. This is one of the um, pros of being a realtor. You get to see homes. Boom. That's me, buddy. That's me, you're a little bit realtor. <laughs> you get to see homes, all different types of homes, the good and the bad. Let me turn this light off. And then 
There's another bathroom right here. Pretty cool. And then you have the kitchen. But they came and snatched this home pretty darn quick. If we were like two days earlier, we could have got it. But this would have been a perfect home for her. A perfect home for her! Uh, but I told her, you know, because a lot of clients, they think I get upset with them if they don't purchase the home, which is not what you're supposed to do. Clients, do not be upset with your realtor that you're taking them to 50 homes. If you don't, if you're actively looking and you don't like something about a home, you will find that perfect one. Now, a lot of times, if your budget is really low, you, you get, I'm scared. You get what you get and you get what you pay for. Like, don't expect a 300K home on a $100,000 budget. But if you actually have a budget and you can actually get things in the home that you want, then don't be upset if you're looking for two to three months. You'll find that perfect one. You'll know when you go inside a home, I tell all my clients, when you go inside a home, you will know when it's the home for you. You will fall in love with it. You will know. Um, Unless you're buying like an investment property and you gotta come and fix it up. But you will know, because I knew my home was for me when I walked into it. God will give you that discernment. Like, oh wow, this is my house. But yeah, here's this home. Um, it's not for her because it's, of course, under contract with a different buyer. But if you pray and if something's for you, can't nobody else have it. So if it goes on the contract, cool. It means God has something better, right? So, yeah. But I really do like this kitchen, this little kitchen area. It's really cool. It's really cool. I love it. Boom. Let's lock it up. Let's leave. I really wanted to show the house next door, but it's not finished yet. Let's lock it up. Put the key in the lockbox. Boom, scramble the code. Close it up, you're ready to go. So I did have two other homes set up for my client to see, but she doesn't want to go on this side of town. This is the East End, which prices are really high, so you really can't, you know, get what you want on this side of town since you know prices are so high. But in the south end, you can get more for your price, more bang for your buck. But she didn't want to go out there. Um, so I'm just gonna cancel those other two showings. Good thing about it is both of those homes are vacant. Go past this light, then at the next step, turn left. Good thing about both these homes are vacant because I hate scheduling showings where, you know, sellers have to clean up their homes and vacate the premises and then- the light, use the left lane to oh my goodness, Siri. North towards I they have to vacate the premises and then I end up canceling the showing. I don't do that. I think that's really wrong, so. I made sure I canceled vacant houses today just in case, you know, she changed her mind. So she did change her mind about seeing those other two. So let's go on with the home search. All right, so now I'm at my cousin's um, apartment. I am picking her up today. We're going to Simpsonville, Kentucky to do a house tour of a million dollar home. You guys will see this on my YouTube channel. Um, that's how I'm gonna start off this YouTube channel. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna do it every week or every two weeks or so, I'm gonna have a million dollar house tour, probably like every two weeks, uh, which is basically two times a month I'm gonna have, because we don't always have million dollar homes and I don't wanna do the same home. So um, two times a month, we wanna do million dollar house tours where I take you guys on the inside of million dollar vacant homes, um, unless I'm taking a client to a furnished home. Because I don't want to waste you know, somebody's time by taking them to a furnished home. Um, taking myself to a furnished home. So yeah, we're going to Simpsonville, Kentucky. That is about um, 15 to 20 minutes outside of Louisville, Kentucky. Um, probably 40 minutes for me right now because I'm on the south side of Louisville. So we're going to go see how that looks. And I'm going to take you guys on a tour. So make sure you guys... Stay tuned. All right, guys, so today's a new day. The sun is in my face. I'm gonna stand in my foyer area. But um, today's a new day. I just got done filming a million dollar house tour here in Simpsonville, Kentucky. Mind you guys, I live in Louisville, Kentucky. Simpsonville is kind of like on the outskirts of 
the main city in Kentucky, Louisville. So, um, I done that. Um, this was my first time. My cousin, it was her first time recording, you know, video. She held the camera and man, she was shaking the camera like this. And oh my goodness, it's a, it's a two out of 10 video. But if you guys can just go over there and, you know, like and share and comment what you guys think about it. But it was also my first time using Final Cut Pro on, you know, Apple. So I'm kind of a novice. So I guess we both did bad. But I'm growing and, you know, you'll learn from your mistakes. So now I know next time. But shout out to Shamoria, my friend. She did my hair really good. Mm -hmm. She did my hair. She didn't have to use no... Um, what's it called? Fibers, no nothing. She done it correctly. Ain't that right, River? He just wants to go outside, but he's about to go out the back door because he likes to keep running every time. And I'm not about to catch up with him today with him running down the street. But, um, look, I look so tired. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. So I'm going to get some food. Um, then I'm going to stop at Big Lots. Um, and... Yeah, I'm gonna call that the rest of the day. So, being a realtor, you're really just trying to get clients and you're just, your days are just never planned. You're just all over the freaking place. So, um, one thing, I have my clients set up on this online, our MLS, um, probably if you're a realtor, but if you're going to be a realtor, your MLS should have like a website where all the new homes come on the market. Then you'll be able to type in you know your clients emails and what they're looking for and it'll automatically send homes to their email which is really good because a lot of my clients it tells me when they open up the emails which you know it helps me and it helps them because i don't have to search for the home their home they usually get it to their email if it meets their criteria and then we usually go see it but i usually take the extra step by helping them find the home so we can get on it like that you know i check the mls before they even send out you know the listing notifications just to make sure my clients are the first but um one of the challenges let me put you guys down but one of the challenges right now um in this market is inventory um inventory is very low um and another thing is i have clients who are not you know really quick to hop on a home so majority of the homes that are price well and nice that everybody wants they go the first day or the second day or they have multiple offers but the clients i have you know they want to see it on the weekend or you know they want to think about it or you know it's just stressful just depends on what type of clients you have but the um two clients i've been working with they're like that so I don't know how we're gonna find them a home you know because the ones that sit on the market are usually the uglier ones or the overpriced ones so I want them to find the perfect one that they love, but the perfect one that they love always goes to somebody else. So prayer definitely works. Um, I just pray my client, my clients just get, you know, what their hearts desires. So yeah. It's a new day, you guys, and I'm at the church. Um, we are here. I don't know. I'm a part of the media department, so. Gotta go to church. I'm here with Yule. I'm um, trying to get some things together for the church media. But I'm showing a couple homes today, so bear with me. Showing about three to four homes today for my client. And hopefully we find that perfect one. And I got some bad news too. So, hold on. Oh, All right, guys. So I'm on the phone with my friend LJ. Um, he is going to be a realtor soon. But I am kind of upset, you guys. So this is what you experience when you be a realtor. So I helped this couple get pre-approved, right? So I put out ads and I do things and I help people get pre-approved. Of course, because I'm a realtor. That's what I have to do. So I sent the couple, husband and wife, to one of my loan officers, right? Told them what they need to do to get pre-qualified, where their credit score needs to be at, are they working, da 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 So I end up, so the husband couldn't get pre-approved because he still needs to work on his credit, but the wife could get pre-approved. Okay, cool, so they got, so she was pre-approved for 240, right? Okay, cool, I got the pre-approval. I'm gonna help them on their home search. 
he tells me send him homes i send him homes i add him on my little list that'll get him homes regularly on the email so he told me schedule a showing saturday for this house i scheduled the showing saturday um yay he tells me he has to get out by this time he even texted me and told me he'll give me 500 dollars if i find him a home that he can move into by 30 days from by march 31st today is february 22nd but you know i didn't reply to that because i don't need you to pay me it's my due diligence to you know help you find a home i didn't say that but um yeah so he texted me today while i'm at work and he was like um what did he say let me read the text to you guys he says he says, Cortrell, I have to pump the brakes. Since my wife is getting the house in her name, she says that she wants to choose her own realtor. I'll reach out to you to, if things change. I'm like, I help this guy. I help these people who are renters become homeowners. They didn't even know they can afford a home. I helped them. I led them through. And now they don't even want to purchase with me. Like, what did... Realtors, we do the same thing. You know? We do the same thing. We help you find a home. I'm very, and I told him, okay, I didn't want to, you know, be rude because it's just not in me to be rude to a client because I love everybody. I said, okay, I'm very knowledgeable in this field and I work with integrity and honesty in order to make your home buying experience a great one. Let me know if anything changes. We'd love to assist you all in your home search. I have amazing references upon requests too. And then he didn't text back. And then I got a call from a loan officer who said, I just got off the phone with him. I sent you the pre-approval. He mentioned my name to him. Then he was like, okay, okay, okay. So I'm like, are they gonna go with me or not? And then he, then I text him, would you like me to cancel the showing for Saturday morning? And then he texts me, yes and thank you. So, I don't know what I did. It's like, you help people and then they're just like, like what does you having a wife have to do? If you're married, you're one. You know, and you mean to tell me that you guys can't choose me for what? I helped you guys, you know, but you know, people have their own, why they don't choose somebody, you know? So I'm waiting on my McDonald's order to come out. I think she's been sitting right there for the longest and I didn't get her order, so she's coming in. I should've just went through the drive-through. But um, yeah, that's, that's pretty just BS I feel because I really thought that's the flag. Yeah, BS because I really helped them and I wanted them, you know. I help all my clients and money adds up. When you're a realtor, this is either eat or be eaten. You make your own money. It depends on how much effort you put in. And I put in a lot of effort and sometimes you can put in a lot of effort. So never count on money until the deal closes. Because people will even work with you. You will show them 10 homes and then they'll go buy with a different realtor. It's just how it is. It's just how it is. So. I should have had them sign like an agreement once we went to go see a house. But if they sign an agreement with me, that's why agreements are so important. I never showed them a home yet, so didn't have an agreement with them. But if I was to show them a home, best believe we'll have an agreement saying I'm working with you. Because if you go buy with somebody else and I've been showing you all these homes, I gotta get some commission. But yeah, guys, just wanted to keep you up to date. So now I'm at this property that my client I am here a little bit early so I'm gonna take you guys on the inside of it I'm gonna take you guys on the inside um, client sent me this property of course because it looks good on pictures but I can already tell that this is not going to be something she's interested in because I know my clients taste and I know what she's looking for, and I don't think this will be the home that she'll say yes to. It is priced well, but it, you know, it needs some fixing. It looks like it was a rental, and now they're trying to sell the rental. But, I mean, they did some quick fixes to rent it out, but I guess they just want to sell it now, but I just know this is not something my client is looking for, but of course, I'm still going to show her. This home, this is the first home we're meeting at, at 4.30. It's like 3.50. Um, of course, I'm here a little early, like I said before, because my church is down the street, and I just had to leave there. Look at this handrail. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? This is the old house, and it shows. It's pretty big, though. 
I can say that. Look at that. That's cool. I love these wood floors. But yeah, needless to say, this one isn't it. On to the next. <laughs> Hello guys, new day. So me and my client did find the home that she really liked. We put an offer on it. Our offer was not accepted. Um, they had multiple offers on this property, which surprised me that they didn't wait. Usually realtors in this market will wait until a specific date to review all offers, you know, so they can get the highest and best. But um, it wasn't the house that I previously showed you guys. It was this nice one that I forgot to pick up the camera and show, but I may input some pictures. But um, client really liked it. But the crazy thing about our market here in Louisville, Kentucky, is that there's only 408 homes on the market under 1 million. 408 active listings in the whole city. We have more realtors than 408 listings. Oh my goodness. It's crazy. Like everything is gone. All the listings that are still in the market are the listings that nobody wants. Hello guys, it's Gortrill. Today, um, I am touring a home for my client. My client didn't send me to tour this home, but I'm touring it myself because it's been on the market for a while and it may be something that my client's interested in. So there may be, I'm sure there is wiggle room on the price, but here's the home. We're in West Louisville. Um, we got beat out on a home that my client wanted. So I'm touring this one because it's been on the market for a while and the pictures are really bad, but you never know how it really looks on the inside. And you know, it meets the size requirements that she's looking for, so. Okay. They got the Supra back here on the gas meter, <laughs> which is kind of weird. It's freezing, you guys, it's freezing. It looks cool from the exterior. The floor. Just got a text. Paperwork is going to be sent in the morning. Oh, great. Okay, so here it is. It's actually pretty cool looking. Looks like they had a lot of people coming through here. Um, let's see what the light fixture switches are. Um, let's see. old house I can say that it is a old house looks like they did a little staging but the house still needs some work hmm I mean, it's a nice, uh, you need some work, honestly. I'm, I mean, I know they staged it, but it needs work. These cabinets are old. Everything is old. I, mean, I know they staged it, of course, but the doors don't even close and that door is old. <laughs> Eh. Eh. The agent's trying her hardest to sell it now. They staged it with some traditional furniture, but when this furniture is out of here, it's gonna look bad. Cause look at all this. Look. Everything is just, this is like grandma's old, old house. You know, everything just is bad. This is why the home has been on the market for the longest. Where's the upstairs? Oh, well, you gotta step down here to go upstairs. Well, you gotta go downstairs to go upstairs. Steep steps. Oh yeah. No. 
Not for 170. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they tried. I mean, they tried. The agent did a good job with the pictures. But, mm, yeah. <laughs> this ain't gonna happen. <laughs> this ain't gonna happen for my client. No. Um, no. <laughs> I made a mistake even coming here. I can say that sink is nice. That's what that's what draw me into the pictures. That sink and you know this living room, but no sir. <laughs> oh, they need to turn the heat on in here. It's so cold. I need a coat on. Let's see if there's any other homes in this neighborhood that I can take a tour of for my client. Send her a couple pictures. But I kind of know her style, and this ain't it, and this ain't the home. <laughs> That's why I didn't take you all the way out here so you can say, what in the world is he showing me? I went to come see it first. All right, guys, it is Cortrell. Today I'm hosting an open house. Homepage Realty, listed by Leslie Lincoln Hoker. I'm doing an open house at this property today. It just went on the market yesterday. So hopefully people come and show up. But it's kind of like a multi-family home. That's what I'm picking up. But it looks like single family to me. I mean, it does need some updates, I feel. It's a little old timey. That's just me. Um, but it is a house and it does feel homey. <laughs> so yeah. Here it is. Kind of, that's it, really. I mean, I thought it would have an upstairs, but I don't think it does. So, let's see if it does, because it, it just looks like it would have an upstairs, but I, I mean, honestly, it just has a downstairs. But, um, usually for open houses, I put out our homepage water right here. I put out the flyers. See my picture, that's what I love about my brokerage. They print us these flyers. You know, they print it out for us so, you know, buyers can come in and take it and then they can contact us. And then it looks very professional. We have our sign sheets right here. Um, and then we also have a guide to purchase in your home, which entails everything that goes on with the home buying transaction process. And then I also put out, you know, a couple of my cards so people can take it, you know boom that's my brokerage address but you know you always got to be prepared for open house because you're really here to pick up clients um, and here to meet those who want to put in an offer on the home um, I remember when I had one of my first listings it was a blue home in East Louisville and I hosted the open house by myself you know because it was my listing this one isn't my listing but it was my listing and a buyer came in and he said he wanted the house. So I got both sides of the commission because he wanted the home and he was buying with me and not another agent. And I was already the listing agent over that, you know, property. But man, I look a mess, so please bear with me. But um, yeah, so I'm here from one to three. I should have did like 12 to two, but I'm here from one to three. Um, and we're gonna put a praise on it. But it is 1.14, we don't have anybody here at the open house yet, so I just search my phone, wait around. One, two, three, okay, cool. One, two, three. Um, it's a big house. I only have eight saves on Zillow in 21 hours, so. Hmm. The upstairs, one bedroom apartment has a separate entrance on the side. Oh, but it's a freaking, Multifamily. There's a one bed apartment on the side. <laughs> and I'm like, what? The upstairs one bedroom apartment has a separate entrance on the side. It has an updated kitchen and full bath. Plants will remain. So let's see what this 
So it is a multi-family. I'm just kind of confused. So let me see where I can get inside this second entrance. Probably on the left side. Well, let me see. does have a separate entrance. So it does have an upstairs unit. Well, this is really nice then, because you can, wow. The ceilings are a little low, but it's like another house, which is great. Kind of feels weird, because the ceilings are so low. You gotta bend your head to get in here. But wow, that's crazy. So this house has a house above the house. <laughs> that's cool though, I mean, Somebody can live here who just needs to get out on their own and just start. I don't recommend this being like a full house because it's just living room, bedroom, kitchen. But somebody can be here just to, you know. Oh, text him. Oh, my bad. The stairs are pretty steep. Wow. But that's cool. This is cool. You have your own second second house in this huge brick house. So I just had one person come, you know, tour the home, then I showed him the upper unit. But I wanna to talk to you guys and tell you, you know, when you're in real estate, do not chase the money. Um, you're probably gonna try to chase the money when you first start, but let me tell you, do not chase the money. You're here trying to put, make people's dreams come true. A lot of times, you know, buying a home can be the largest investment that they can, you know, purchase. So do not chase the money, because sometimes I know realtors will see, oh, they're only offering 2% commission, 2.5% commission when the standard is 3%. Then they get all bent out of shape and say, okay, my buyers are going to walk, da 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 because they're not paying my realtor. But at the end of the day, you know, your clients should be able to purchase any home that they like. Um, if you're only getting 1% commission, that's fine. I know it's gonna hurt, it's gonna sting, but you just keep on, if you keep doing business in that way as, you know, you don't care what the, you know, what the other opposing agent is offering or what the for sale by owner is offering, believe me, believe me, believe me, God will continue to bless you. So we just submitted an offer for my client on the house that she went to go, well, that we went to go look at. I'm gonna look at it again today because I wanna make sure that this property can go FHA. Um, the agent said it can go FHA because FHA has, you know, its own minimum requirements. FHA, well, if you're gonna be a realtor, get familiar with the FHA loan, a VA loan, and a conventional loan. Conventional loans are usually the easiest loans to qualify for. Um, FHA loans, they have limitations. VA loans, they have limitations. Um, but yeah, they have USD, they have all different types of loans, but those are the usually top three and then USDA loan. But my client is an FHA loan buyer, so, you know, the house gotta meet, you know, certain, property standard. So I'm gonna go look at it today in the light because we seen it yesterday, you know, in the evening. So yeah, we did put in an offer on it though. Um, hopefully they accept her offer. If it's meant to be, Lord, you know if it's meant to be, but if it's meant to be, they will take our offer. And yeah, look at my eyes. Peace. All right, guys, so I am at home. All right, guys, so I'm at home in LJ, best friend. Getting a haircut by my other best friend. So. Can we yeah. just let this go, please? What, do you want there to be lawlessness, then? Hey, babe, you think that's this camera? This camera looks good. Right. Look, I know lawlessness. I spent my whole life in lawlessness. Look what I live. No, I can't show yeah, them. But you know, like when you show people during the party, they get out. <laughs> yeah. All right, y'all. Boom. Shamaria. What up, YouTube? <laughs> yeah, get one. Yeah. Oh, they're drying his hands. Can you pass me that tree? Oh. Okay. We got all different types of little stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep, here's the LJ. Not sitting my gun. Yeah. That is good. Yeah, it does. Like, Man, you hooked me here. Yeah. Oh, oh shoot. I don't even know where I put my. Wow. I probably lost. Where I put my dick on keys? Who oh. called the second? I don't even know, yeah, it looks like I can't even know where my keys are. <laughs> did I? Oh, I did wear a coat this morning. 
I said, we need to get my master bedroom together. Pimp my master bedroom. That ain't that bad. Yeah, I covered up my holes in the wall. I put, you know, I do a little drywall work. So I put like, you feel me? So, um, I want to get it painted. Just that back wall, keep everything else gray. When you want to get painted? When you never see available. It's only one wall. I'm available today. Boy, who's doing, I'm not doing all that today. Well, you said whatever I'm It's choosing the color and everything. Short notice. Really short notice. Yeah, LJ's the. And they know LJ's the nothing. Okay. Whatever. So we came up. LJ, you are short. I am not. How are you telling me? Get, get off that carpet. We wearing the same shoes. Mm mm. Come on. Let's slam the door. Sorry. Boy. You know my door act a fool. You gotta <laughs> sling it. Give me a minute, Jermix. Ooh, ooh, it's go down five. Three hundred minute drinks. This? Mm-hmm. Put it in that cup holder. Thought you said drugs. Cause you know my tire, my back tires is bald. <laughs> Boy, you need to. <laughs> Are we gonna be slipping and sliding? It's all right, guys. One of the best things to do in real estate is take a self-care day. Hello, guys. It's Quartrell, and I am in my home office. I'm not going to show you guys because it looks a mess right now. But, yes, I slept in my church clothes, and I'm now trying to get my master bedroom together. So, you guys just watch me clean up my terrible master bedroom. I've been sleeping in my guest bedroom because I didn't have enough time to clean my master bedroom. I know it's crazy, but my guest bedroom, I like to sleep in the guest bedroom because I feel like I have a better connection with God in that room and it's so much brighter and the bed sits up higher, even though it's a queen bed in my guest. But my master bedroom has a king bed and it's bigger and, well, it ain't brighter, but it's bigger and, but the room is a little bit colder. The guest bedroom is right by the furnace, so it's a little bit warmer, warmer. But you guys can watch me clean, you know, and yeah. I know I'm going to praise the Lord while I'm cleaning. I'm going to praise the Lord while I'm cleaning. But I'm not going to be able to finish this video today because my stuff is in the washer and dryer and it takes like two hours. And who's going to be up to like 12? So I'm going to sleep in my guest bed another night. Maybe tomorrow I'll be able to sleep in my master bedroom. This wig is so funny to me. Cause it looks so freaking real. Looks like it's my hair. Ah. Here's my Jesus shirt. I gotta create it. I'm gonna get these pictures taken in this shirt. All right, that's all I could clean for today in this master bedroom. Here's what it looks like. The mattress is put on wrong, of course. But it's all I could clean because I'm gonna be up all night because I need to put on the new cover and the daggone sheets and the make the bed. And then I have to put all that stuff in drawers, even though I can still sleep in here, but it's gonna take two hours for the stuff to get done in the wash. Look how small this closet is. We're gonna tackle this closet one day. You hear me, y'all? Mark my words, we're going to tackle this closet. We're going to close that for now. 
but um yeah i never i haven't watched this tv in like months because there's no plug over here and the electrician to come put a plug and then i need somebody to come give me crown molten in here so yeah Hello guys, I'm gonna show you guys my bedroom. I just got like a new bed set today. Um, new bed set. Uh, I moved some couple things around in my home. Here's what it looks like. I'm so excited, you know, to see. I'm so excited. Um, here's my bedroom. Yeah, my friends are on the phone. Let me turn them down because they're, they're embarrassing me. But, um. I want to focus. Oh, yeah, okay, so here's my master bedroom. Um, I just got this navy blue set from Marshalls. Um, it was about $90 or so. I wanted something, you know, plain. Um, they didn't really have much selection, so I just went with the navy blue because, of course, I got a navy blue wall. Um, I kept with the buffalo plaid in here. Took those two buffalo plaid pillows from my bench in my hallway. So I'm going to have to buy two more for the bench and then I'm going to have to buy another one of these throw blankets because I just took what I had just to see what it looks like and I actually really love the look of it now. Um, these two green plants on the side are from Marshalls as well. Um, it was going to be on this at the corners but this TV is way too big, bigger than the dresser so I'm going to just leave those right there. Also got this navy blue seat from Marshalls. I was going to get like a chair right here but um, I like this look. It's kind of fun and I don't need too many seats because this is a seat. It's a king bed. That's a seat and this bench is a seat. But this bench will not be staying. I do like the color because it's a masculine color but this belongs in my living room. But again I want to see what it looks like. so. I have a navy blue bench that's bigger than this that's going to be right in front of this bed um, that I am going to order. I haven't ordered it yet. I'm kind of thinking, do I want to get like an accent color bench? But what would be the accent color in here? Navy blue. So I'm just going to get a navy blue bench. And then I have an animal cowhide looking navy blue rug that's going to be right here. It's furry. And then that will be it. I want to touch up the white paint on this wall. Um, I want to put curtains right here that go to the floor, but I'm not sure what color. Um, I might get them white, might get them black, might get them navy blue. These curtains I do not like at all for some reason. I really want to get blinds, but I may keep that for the meanwhile, just swats right there. Um, and then, yeah, I want to get a contractor to come over here and get me crown molding in this room, because that will really make it look much richer in here. And I also want can lights in each corner. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I want to put over top of this dresser. Um, this dresser used to be brown, but I ended up painting it blue. I ended up changing out the old handles and um, spray painting them gold. Those are like cabinet handles I got off Amazon. And this was another DIY. This was brown with old silver handles. And I spray painted it gray. Got the spray paint $3 from Home Depot. And then I spray painted the other handles gold to match those gold handles. So, bedroom's almost done. Um, I put that fan up months ago by myself. I took down the old fan, put up a new one. So I'm kind of handy around here. But yeah, this is my master bedroom. I'm probably not gonna sleep in here tonight because it took so long to make up the bed. So, yeah, but boom, boom, boom. But I love it, I love it, I love it. I usually sleep on this side of the bed, but might start sleeping on this side, I don't know. Lastly, I may want a barn door right here. But I'll be doing too much, so. And I also need suggestions on what to put on this wall. I have those two at the top, but that one's crooked. I need a fix. It says where you go, I'll go. Where you stay, I'll stay. I'm thinking like a big blue map would be nice right here. Like a, you know, map of the world. That would be really beautiful. Or something that's not like a picture, but something see-through. Or like a huge mirror. I don't know. But we'll see. But yeah, guys, here's my room. Wingfield Designs. I hate, last thing, I know you guys are like, you are so picky. But I do not like the pillows. I love the, hound, the buffalo plaid pillows. I love this long pillow. I love those two furry pillows, but I do not like those two white pillows in the back. Um, these two white pillows in the back. So I might have to change them. So if you guys can give me a little suggestions, I would really appreciate it. 
but enough talking all right guys that's it for my realtor day in the life i literally put a whole bunch of clips together because basically that is my day in the life um sometimes i do real estate sometimes i'm just you know living life because you know real estate is it fluctuates some days you show home some days you're not you're just at home resting and you know doing what you do best i just want to let you guys know to keep god first place uh, i'm trying to keep him first place in my life but of course we have a sinful nature and sometimes i do fall short so you guys keep me in prayer because i want all the promises that he has for me fulfilled in my life so sometimes i can get off track but um God is good and his mercy do forever. Asking you shall receive, seeking you shall find, knocking the door shall be open. If you're ever looking to be a realtor, I'm gonna be doing more videos, you know, tips and tricks, how to get clients. Um, I don't usually do the same tricks everybody else does to get clients, but I'm still learning. I mean, this is my first year. Um, I am seven months now into the business. So, try what I can do. Oh, it's my fridge. I got my fridge left open. But, um, I love the way my room looks. You know? Wow. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. I love you guys. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And peace.